In this lecture, we're going to move on to another type of unsupervised learning. Uh, it's the last of the three main types, the first being clustering, the second uh, matrix vectorization. And now in the next three lectures, we're going to consider sequential data. So these are going to be models where we um, take sequences into account or somehow model some sort of a latent sequential behavior. Up to this point uh, in this course, when we've been thinking probabilistically, we've been working in the IID setting. So this is where we've assumed that every observation that we get is independent of every other observation and uh, uh, identically distributed. Often it's a reasonable assumption to make and the results uh, will be very good, uh, but it's also something that's done for convenience. In many applications, this assumption is clearly a bad one. Uh, for example, to give a few um, examples, if we wanted to model rainfall as a function of hour, uh, we wouldn't want to model that as an independent random variable. If we wanted to model the daily value of a currency's exchange rate, that's not independent in the day, so the, the value today is dependent clearly on what it was yesterday. Um, if we wanted to model speech uh, via some acoustic features that we extract, for example, here I show the, uh, a signal that's where somebody is saying Bayes' theorem, and then we extract some acoustic features. Clearly, if we look at a, uh, a column slice, there's a temporal uh, dependence that exists in the data, and we would want to take that into consideration when modeling speech.